Hello everyone, this is Keith George. I am the Education Technology Specialist with the Alabama Math, Science, and Technology Initiative, and I'm also a Common Sense Media EdTech Mentor for 2016. And this video is going to walk you through how to submit a lesson plan to the Common Sense Media database. So I'm just going to start at commonsense.org. And as you peruse this site, you can see that there's Common Sense Media, Common Sense Education, Common Sense Kids Action. We're going to go to Common Sense Education. That is kind of their education-focused area. And once we get to the site, you'll see that I am already logged in. I uh, was previously logged in, so it knows that I'm here. And we are going to quickly show you that under Digital Citizenship, you have the education programs, there's teaching strategies, PD, their privacy initiative, and of course their blog. But we're going to look under reviews and ratings and slide down to lesson plans. And once we click on lesson plan, it's going to open the lesson plan database. And you can see there are some featured lessons here. You can scroll down and see a few more of the featured lessons. You can search by subject and by grade to kind of browse down to those. And there is a little introductory video for what are lesson flows, which is uh, another kind of a term that Common Sense uses for their lesson plans. But here's what we're looking for right now, and that is create your own lesson plan. So once we click that link, it's going to open up the lesson plan template. And you'll see this is pretty easy to follow. You have a place for your title, a place for the summary, a place for you to enter in your student learning objectives. Um, notice that you have some text filtering, I'm sorry, some text formatting uh, tools available here. As you slide down to where you can add the standards, uh, you see that anything that's a plus sign you can expand. So if this is a math, English language arts, or science lesson, you can add the appropriate standards easily. You can do the same for subjects. So if this is a math lesson, you could just select math or you could expand the list and enter and check some keywords there as well. Select your grade ranges for the lesson. And then here's the heart of the template and that is the step-by-step -step procedure. A couple of tips it gives you here. Uh, have a hook and attention getter down here in in Alabama, we sometimes refer to that as our, our just simple introduction or sometimes a bell ringer. The direct instruction, the actual instruction provided by the teacher, guided practice, independence practice, wrap up. So there's kind of a general outline. Notice that you can show reflection questions to get an idea of some general guidelines that your lesson should follow. You title the step. And then as you add a, the instructions and everything, you're going to, so let's just go ahead and do first step. Not anything real dramatic here, but here's where you can add the uh, different parts that you're going to add. So let's say you're going to have the students use an app that is um, available in the Common Sense Media Resource Library. So let's say we wanted them to use uh, Kahoot. Well, as we start typing, you see the Kahoot comes up. We could edit that if we needed to. We can add a second tool. So there's Kahoot. And notice that once we add a resource, we have a, an area for teacher instructions and an area for student instructions. So you'll want to include both of those. Notice that you again have your text formatting tools. And once you complete that step, you can come down and add a second step. So you're going to do this for each step, each procedure that you're going to have. And notice that you don't have to necessarily use a digital tool. This could be an off-site resource. You can just paste the URL of something that you want the students to see, perhaps a teacher to video or a National Geographic video or possibly it's a non-tech activity and you're just going to have them um, maybe they're going to be conversing about something and you have your teacher instructions and student instructions for that step. 
So you just continue to add steps until you've uh, completed your lesson. Under visibility, you're going to have your show lesson plan to, to the public. And then when you're done with everything, you can save it. Now, if you notice, if I try to save right now, it's going to come back and tell me that there are several things missing. But you can go back and work on your lessons later. So I'm going to actually go up to my profile and go to my desk. And when I go to my desk in Common Sense, you can see that I've got my bookmarks, my collections, my lesson plans, my reviews. We'll show lesson plans. And I'll show you a lesson plan that I have already on the Common Sense Media. So this is a social studies lesson. How powerful is the president? You see my objectives. You see what steps are included. For my hook, I have a timer and stopwatch and the instructions for it. Direct instruction, an exploration activity, uh, a second exploration activity, some reading, had them read. Um, a PDF article, some discussion. They did some discussion with uh, EduCreations, and then an off-site resource, which this is a, a PDF of uh, 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 basically a book chapter. Socrative to do a review activity. I used a timer again for the closing, and for each of these, I had both teacher instructions and student instructions when it was necessary. So you see the student instructions on the different apps and such. So that just kind of gives you a quick overview of the lesson plan tool. So again, the easy way to find it is to make sure that you are on Common Sense Education, commonsensemedia.org slash educators. Go to reviews and ratings, slide down to lesson plans. And this is where, of course, you can look for lesson plans by subject grade, but also where you start to create your own lesson plan. Well, I hope you have found this little screencast helpful. And of course, the Common Sense Media Education page is an outstanding resource for teachers and something you should definitely have bookmarked. I hope that this has been helpful. And if I can answer any questions, please feel free to contact me at kgeorge at alsde.edu. Thanks.